Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk and we are back! Yeah! Season two of the weekly bread making tip. Let's go! So if you are hanging around since season one, let's call it season one, it sounds wicked, doesn't it? If you've been hanging around since season one while I've been on this content break, which actually lasted for ages, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm back now. I think this is episode number 39. Let's go for it. And this one, I want to talk about overcomplicating recipes and I'll tell you why. I get a lot of emails about bread from you guys, which is awesome, by the way. Keep doing it. Um, and one from a lady called Cecilia. Now, Cecilia was trying to get in touch with me for a while. I'm over across many different platforms and um, uh, she was making bread at home and wondered why it wasn't getting enough oven spring in the oven. So I said, hey Cecilia, uh, let's get down to it. Send me the recipe, I don't know what's going on. So you send me the recipe and we can figure this out. She sent me some photos, she sent me the recipe and that's where the problem was. So lack of oven spring can be many, many things and this is the tricky thing with bread. Uh, that's why I make so many videos like this because one small error can be caused by many things and it's really hard to pinpoint that thing without actually seeing what you're doing. Uh, reading the recipe of what you're doing is part of the puzzle and the rest of it is the nature, is there's a bigger game at play here and it's the way that you're handling it, the way that you're kneading it and all this other stuff. But the point is the recipe was long. It had about a million steps to it, right? There was a pre-ferment left overnight for 10 hours that we've spoken about that before, it's wicked, right? There was a bulk ferment of two hours with a fold every 30 minutes. There was a fruit addition towards the end of the bulk ferment about an hour into the process. Before all of this happened there was a 20 minute autolyzed process before anything got mixed up anyway and there was an old reserve bit of dough from yesterday which was a really really nice thing to do with improved flavor and the texture but the point is there's too many stages the whole thing is over complicated and so for me to dissect that which point the oven spring issue happened is really really hard all those things are good things. The auto lies is a good thing. The Polish pre the Polish pre ferment is a good thing. The reserve dough from yesterday is a good thing, but don't do them all together because it confuses the whole situation. And that's like, well, I don't know, 15, 16 hours into the game, you've got a loaf of bread that you're not happy with. That's enough to put anybody off. And I'm so uh, surprised that Cecilia was persistent and she kept going. Because I feel like a lot of people would have given up way before that even happened. But the point I'm trying to make in this video is to keep things simple, right? Start off simple, simples. Yes, all those things are good things and you can introduce one. For example, the pre I spoke about before. Uh, find a recipe, there's recipes on my website, simple, simple recipes. And once you've got that down, introduce a pre -ferment. Once you've got that down, do try and auto -lize next time. See how you get on, because all the different steps in one go is way too complicated and it's stressing me out even thinking about that even happening. And then the bread to be a disappointment at the end. Keep everything simple. The, the point I'm trying to make in these videos is just that little bit of information. So one of those things will make that penny drop and you go, that's why it doesn't rise up properly because I put flour down. Or that's why this, or this is what I can do to make it better. But don't do everything at once. It's way too stressful. It's really cool to try new things. It's really cool to get new steps in there and new things on the go, but not all at the same time. Time. Listen, I hope this video, the first one of the season, has been of help to you, um, all of you out there, not just Cecilia. And listen, thank you very much for hanging out with me on here today. I'm Jack from bakewithjack.co.uk. Recipes and more videos like this on my website. And that's it. Thank you very much.